computer. Have you ever asked yourself, what is a computer? What is it all about? Is a computer very powerful than human brain? Or is your brain more powerful than a computer? If a person tells you that you are as smart as a computer, is that a credit or an insult? A computer is basically an electronic data processing machine. That is to say, it is an electronic data processing machine. It is a machine that processes data. But not any machine. You know, we, we know that you can take a maize to a mewing machine of which you can grind a maize and have flour. You process the maize to have maize flour. You can take uh, this and process to something else. You can pr process the raw material and uh, come up with fine products. But particularly here, a computer is a data processing machine. In this sense, we say it is an electronic data processing machine. What we are, we are saying in this point is that if you have a computer, definitely, then a computer will receive uh, data and uh, process the data and come up with meaningful information. Let's say this is a computer. You definitely have uh, a computer where it is an electronic machine. It's not just another any kind of a machine, but it is an electronic machine. So you can be able to enter the data, for instance, type the data, and then process the raw data that you enter and come up with the meaningful information. For instance, you want to type a letter, you're going to press characters until characters forming words. Words and then with the spaces and all the signs and this, this and that, you have paragraphs. Paragraphs, you have an entire letter and you can print a letter to a friend. Dear my friend, I am writing to you to explain this and this and that. Or if you are applying for a job, you can type for that. So you simply, the, the computer there, simplify work because it helps to process raw data to meaningful information. Or if you want to definitely have uh, something like uh, you want to prepare reports where you have computation of figures, definitely you will need a computer to process the data. You enter the characters, they are processed, and you have uh, the results. So it is an electronic data processing machine. So you can ever ask yourself, have you ever asked yourself, is the human brain more powerful than a computer, or is a computer more powerful than human brain? I believe that um, the human brain is more powerful than human uh, than a computer. Probably uh, the the smartest computer cannot be as smart as the, the most dumbest person. We have not yet got a computer that is as, as powerful as this brain. We should glorify God that uh, he created us very wonderfully. And um, your brain has a lot and process a lot. Have you ever thought about um, when you are sleeping? You are sleeping but still you can be able to track what is going on. You still hear people. You still are able to, to dream, you still process some information, isn't it? And so, when you woke up in the morning, you find that uh, you, have, you, re you are remembering what, where you are sleeping, uh, what, uh, what you are scheduled today. You don't just fell out of your bed, but you woke up, stand, sit, and move forward. So, that proves a lot that. Uh, our brain are very powerful because the act of me standing here alone involves this brain being able to calculate gravity, distance, move, motion and everything. Unless otherwise I would have been falling behind or whatever it is. So 
this brain does all that while I'm speaking, looking, seeing, thinking, remembering other things, and all those, so many multiple tasks that uh, are all processed in that same brain. So, a human brain is very powerful. We should not underestimate our potential. Now, a computer, as I've said, is a data processing machine. A computer is made up of uh, two main parts. First of all is uh, the hardware, the computer hardware. These parts of computer that are tangible, okay? This is a, a computer. The keyboard, the touchpad, a camera, webcam, a screen. When it's in a laptop, it's called a screen, okay? When it's in a desktop, we can call it a monitor. Uh, when it's in a mobile phone, we call it a screen. When uh, this is a, a screen. And other things, other parts are inside here. And uh, in the course of this series, we, we are going to have even practical cl classes to open a computer, fix some problems, troubleshooting, basic computer maintenance. Okay? But the main part here, it is uh, the computer hardware. But there's also another part of a computer. That's the computer software. The program that you are seeing there. And uh, let's say this, what you are seeing there, is pre uh, basically the operating system. But the program is another part, the software, computer software. So a computer mainly has uh, computer hardware and computer software. That's the first main thing. When it comes to software, we will talk into detail about the computer software. When it comes to hardware, we have those parts of a computer that helps you to put in data, raw data, which needs to be processed. For instance, you are typing your letter, you're going to use a keyboard. It's an input. You are seeing what you have been typing, you are going to see it in a monitor or screen of your computer that is uh, the output you are recording a video you're going to use a camera or another camera like uh, this one uh, sorry a webcam or uh, something uh, that is uh, useful to you a camera like that one and uh, that can be a uh, it can be an input. It helps you to put in data. But also, you can have uh, other parts of a computer that are also computer hardware, like the storage devices that help you to store information. It could be stored in a CD. It could be stored in a floppy disk. Very old. We we'll talk about that when we we'll talk about st computer storage and many more. So, a computer has computer hardware and computer software. When it comes to computer hardware, we have uh, the input, processing, output. Things that helps you to put in data, a keyboard, a mouse, or so and so on. All those are computer hardware. A mouse like uh, this one. A keyboard uh, like... Um, the uh, others that we have been talking about, like uh, that one. It's a keyboard, okay? A keyboard, okay? That one. And uh, all those are computer hardware. All tangible parts, parts that you can hold, you can have a grip on them, you can, uh, you can move them, this and that. Those are computer hardware. But computer software is the programs that usually runs within a computer system. The operating system, uh, program, uh, which falls under system software, uh, application software. We are going to study them into detail. So basically, any, a computer is an electronic data processing machine, in summary. And uh, it is uh, made of two main parts. And uh, this is computer hardware and the computer software. 
Without computer software, hardware cannot work. It, it, it looks like a, a television. It doesn't make a big difference with the TV. A monitor is a monitor. But with a computer software, the computer can do a lot of things. In the course of these classes, we are going to move step by step. So the first step, or the first lesson, in a nutshell, is to understand a computer. And in a, in a simple understanding, a computer is an electronic data processing machine, which processes and store data. It has inputs, processing, output, and storage when it comes to computer hardware. When we talk of computer software, we have system software and application software. Now, in the course of the next coming classes, we will learn difference between those software and the applications and hardware into detail. So, join me as we move forward in the other lesson. Thank you very much.